Starting today, electric scooters and e-bikes make their return to Dallas. They have not been available since 2020. Our Kennedy Walker live in Dallas for us this morning. And Kennedy, this is not without a little bit of controversy. Hey, Brooke. Yeah, you're right. These are the first few e-scooters that you're looking at right now. The rest will be launched next week. But as you mentioned, there's been lots of mixed reviews about these coming back. The last time these e-scooters and bikes were here on the streets of Dallas, it was during the pandemic, September of 2020. But now they are back. Now, there's lots of mixed reviews because some people say that these are dangerous. Um, you may remember thousands of those abandoned bikes scattered throughout the city and dumped on the side of the road and this is because there are no specific docks for residents to bring them back to they can just drop them anywhere and many people thought that that was a problem and a major eyesore but this time is expected to be different because there won't be as many bikes and scooters unlike the previous free for all city leaders selected just three vendors to operate here in Dallas and they can rent up to just 500 scooters each now if you would like to ride they will be rentable from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. so people can come on down here to get one right now and right but riding is prohibited in parks and on trails. There's also slow zones and those are in Deep Ellum, the West End and the Ronald Kirk pedestrian bridge. The speed will be limited to just 10 miles per hour in those areas and riding on the sidewalk is still banned. Now you're looking at this scooter again and you can see the QR code. If you're wondering how do you pay for these things, all you have to do is just get your smartphone scan that code and then you will be able to pay for it. And Brooke, I know a big question that I was getting on social media was, is it true that you cannot ride on sidewalks? And it is true. It's just a rule that people have to follow. If you do have any issues with these e-scooters and bikes, you can call 311. In Dallas, Kennedy Walker, CBS News, Texas. Yeah, time will tell if people actually follow those rules though. Kennedy, thank you.